Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. Today I am going to do another declutter video in my uh, messy to minimal series. Today we are covering the living room, this under the stairs cupboard that we have here, which is pretty much like my Monica <laughs> closet. And I did have some kind of organizing systems going on in here, but there's just so much stuff you know, kind of piled up in there that it's really hard for me to see everything that we have. We don't even use a lot of the stuff that's in here. So I am just going to really purge this um, spot in particular. And I'm also doing the kind of hallway and freeway area. Um, and yeah, I'm just going to show you exactly what I do and how I declutter each of these spaces. I was really inspired by the book Minimalista, which I have shared before. But um, yeah, I'm really excited to kind of go through this process in our entire home. But I'm taking it one day at a time because I'm currently pregnant when I'm filming this. And obviously it takes me a while to go through everything. So yeah, just one small step at a time, just a few minutes each day, um, tackling one space at a time. Um, that's kind of my plan anyway. So let's dive right in. And I, honestly, I was kind of dreading this area a little bit because I just knew how stuffed it was. So my goal was to reduce the amount of things that we have in here. So I took out all of the coats that I'm not wearing at the moment because they're a bit thin. So I usually wear them probably around springtime. So I'm going to put them away for now. Um, and I took down some of the hangers because look at how many hangers we have in here. Like honestly, we are three people in this house and we don't need that many coats at one go. So I only kept, I think, four coats on there, um, the ones that we actually use regularly, both myself and my husband. And then I'm creating a little system for my son as well so that he can put his coat up by himself when he arrives home. I kept about four hangers um, just kind of down below in that under the stairs cupboard just so that we have it for guests. And then all the rest of them, I put them upstairs um, in one of the closets that we have there, just kind of away in storage because the empty hangers that we had down here were constantly like falling down and they were just you know creating more mess so i just kept the bare essentials that we actually need on a daily basis then we took down all of these papers that have been stuck on the this door for a while now and my son's not really interested in them anymore um he wanted to put a few of them up in his room so that was fine by me um and he was fine with this as well um and instead of those on the door we actually hung two of these command hooks that i got um i think i got these in tesco but you can find them anywhere you can find them on amazon um and they're really handy and they're easy to take off as well when you're finished with them so i put two of them on there one for my son and then one for when his baby sister arrives and my goal with this is to, you know, kind of make this a habit for him to put his own coat up on the um, hanger or like on the little peg he has here every single time he comes home. And he's actually been doing a really great job at it ever since we put these up. It's just he would always come home and throw his coat on the floor. And the reason for that is because he didn't actually have a space to put his coat on like obviously he can't reach those hangers up there um, and I mean what child puts his coat up on a hanger so this peg makes it so much easier and he can actually do it himself every single day and it reduces you know that tiny bit more of my you know mental workload so I am going to now go through this entire cupboard and take everything out um it was honestly a little bit overwhelming I'm not going to lie because there was just so much stuff in there but I knew I wanted to to just get all of it out so I can see everything that we have in there. I found so many things that had fallen behind this kind of shoe rack that we have here that I forgot we had, that I actually repurchased because I thought we didn't have it anymore, like some paints for my son and just a lot of random things like that. We had so many shoes stuffed in there and honestly I do not wear that many shoes. Like realistically I tried to be really honest with myself because I think a lot of the times we keep things you know just in case or for this kind of version of ourselves that might wear that kind of shoe one day but the truth is if I'm not wearing it if I haven't worn it in like a year or even two years for some of these shoes then obviously I don't need it and it's only taking up space and adding to the clutter so I'm trying to focus more on you know the present day like what I'm actually wearing now and what I actually need right now rather than holding on to this version of myself that might you know wear that thing someday down the line so i took out all of the formal shoes and just things that were out of season um, and i put those in storage in one of these drawers that we have under our bed 
I also realized I don't need three pairs of slippers. I don't wear that many, to be honest. Like one of these is barely even worn. And then one of them I've worn so much that I don't really wear it anymore. So why was I even keeping three of them? I have no idea, but I got rid of two of them and I only kept one that I like. Um, I had so many bags in there as well, like handbags and backpacks and reusable bags and all of these shoes that I barely wear, a lot of them. Um, and we had so many of these like hats and gloves and honestly it was just, it, it was a pile of stuff everywhere. So I took everything out on here and laid it on the floor so that I can see it by category, you know, my son's shoes, my shoes, um, my husband's shoes, which he's actually quite good at this. I feel like I didn't have to declutter his stuff very much. And I think a lot of the times as moms or, you know, with our families living with them, we feel like the amount of stuff we have is because we have a family, we, because we have kids or husband or whatever. But the truth is, at least in our case, I realized that it was mostly me bringing a lot of this stuff in. Like I'm the one that's buying stuff for me, for Victor, and that's the stuff that accumulates the most. And so I'm trying my best to be more intentional with what I'm going to buy from now on because I really want to preserve this kind of decluttered space that I have created. So I'm really going to try my very best to do the one in one out system. So if I, you know, buy a new pair of shoes, then one of the older ones has to go. So I'm going to do my best to stay true to that just so that we don't, you know, stuff all of these um, cupboards back in a few months. Why do I make things complicated? Why do I lose all my control? Oh, oh. I keep on letting my bad habits make us both come crashing to the floor. Something to save us, close but we're strangers. Feel like we're far apart. Strip it down. So as I went through all of these things, I obviously edited out anything that we don't use very much, anything that I felt like we had access of, and I created these piles. So I had one pile for relocate or, you know, rehome, find a different spot for these things because they don't belong in here. Like summer sandals or this random box of plasters that we have here or anything like that. Then I had this pile to relocate to the shed or to the garage, just um, random things like that. So I'm trying to give everything its own space so that all the things in the same category are in the same spot. And then this is my pile of donate things or sell, like some of these items were still in great condition. So I tried to sell them on Vinted. Um, and then these are all the things that I am keeping. So I've got some backpacks, um, I've got umbrellas, but I'm trying to minimalize and have only the things that we actually need. I also went through my shoes a few times and I think I'm actually gonna go through them a few more times because sometimes it can be hard to get rid of these things like I feel like we have such an attachment to stuff but I'm trying my best to get better at that and by the way I've also created kind of an out box um, in our under the stairs cupboard so that that is the spot where I put things that needed to be donated or sold or taken to um, you know textile recycling or anything like that so but I've also made this rule for myself. If I put something on Vinted or whatever it might be to sell and it doesn't sell within two weeks, then it needs to go. Because otherwise I feel like I would be holding on to clutter for even longer than I have to. Just because, you know, oh, I'm going to sell it one day or I'm going to donate it one day. No, it needs to go out as soon as possible because otherwise it will just keep on cluttering this space. So I'm putting here the shoes at, right at the entrance, the shoes that we actually wear the most, like on a daily basis. And then the rest of them will go in the under the stairs cupboard. So I'm just going to go ahead and refill this space and, uh, you know, kind of organize it a bit as well. Myself. I swear to never 
never talk about it until I start, until I start to yell. Something to save us, close but we're strangers, feel like we're far apart. Strip it down. I just feel like there's so much more breathing room in here like honestly it was so so stashed in there I, it was giving me nightmares whenever i opened this door um and right at the bottom here where you see that empty shelf is where i put some extra hangers the four hangers that we have for guests and then i'm also putting in there one of these white uh, containers so this kind of long one i measured it out when i went to the shop um just so that i made sure it fit in there and that's going to be my out box Again, for things I'm going to donate, things that my son has outgrown or things that I'm going to sell or anything like that, just so that they all have a place um, where they need to get out of the house, basically. And I'm only buying containers as I go along and declutter and I realize exactly what kind of storage I need in each space. So I got two of those white containers to use here um, in our TV unit. And I've decided this will be the home for my camera equipment that I use for filming my videos. Um, and then we also have this kind of charging station here for all of the things we charge, you know, for all the tech things that we use. Did you ever stop and think why I spend too much time just getting ready? Let me be honest, I don't know a single thing that I haven't done to make you notice me. Let me be real here. When I see you, my heart starts racing, but I don't know if I like this chasing and playing and waiting around. It's a shame that my hands start shaking all of the time when you're around me. But this time, this time. And then in this other drawer down here, I didn't even film when it was fully full because that was a few weeks ago and we started taking things out gradually, but it was honestly so stuffed, I could barely close it. Um, it even broke down a few times, so I knew I needed to get rid of everything that was in there. So that's what we did. We rehomed most of those things because they didn't belong in there. It was just kind of a dumping ground, that drawer. So I cleared it all out and then I'm using this to be our baby's um, kind of nappy caddy station for downstairs. Then we also have here games, puzzles, things like that. And then in the uh, baskets that we have, I've created one of them for my son to put his book bag and everything like that when he comes back from school. And then the other one is just for a few items like hats and things for when we come back home so that he has a place to put them and they don't end up on the floor. Then I'm also tackling this area, which is kind of our inbox area, if you want to call it. So we have this one and then we also have a basket in the kitchen, um, which I will share with you in a different video. But this space is where we keep all the letters and just kind of anything that comes in. And I've made it a point to go through this area where we keep all of the, you know, mail basically once a week so that's my goal once a week i will go through this and anything that comes in that's junk you know like those magazines or flyers or whatever um, i'm just going to pop them straight in the recycling and not put them here anymore so anything that needs my attention will go in here and i will look at it once a week but anything else goes straight into the recycling so it doesn't end up cluttering this space um, and i'm just going through the drawers i'm getting rid of sunglasses here i had i think four or five pairs of sunglasses and sun creams and things like that and i only kept one one pair of sunglasses that i really love and wear um one or i think one kids and one adults um sun cream and just kind of things like that that we don't need so many multiples of Yes, I hope you have enjoyed coming along with me to declutter these areas in my home. I hope you're enjoying the new Messy to Minimal series. And yeah, I hope you're having a lovely day and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys!